Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Map TV. Today we've got this 2015 Audi RS7 in. We're doing a Stage 1 engine and gearbox tune. We're going to walk you through the whole tuning process so you'll be able to see dyno runs, taking data logs, analysing that data and actually building the tune um, to flash back in the car. Yeah, let's crack on, let's get to it. Right, so with this being a non-performance pack uh, RS7, the 552 brake horsepower standard, we've done the baseline runs in stock form. The car's made 554 brake horsepower and 545 foot-pound of torque, so it's basically making exactly stock power. We're just looking through the data logs now, just to make sure that the, the boost control and fueling's all good and it's not pulling any ignition timer or anything like that. So a really good opportunity for us to do like a a health check on the engine without actually having to take it apart. If the engine's healthy and the car's all working as it should, the data log should be in line, so like it's not pulling any time in. Actual boost and requested boost is meeting its target perfectly at 1.35 bar. Uh, relative air charge requested versus actual, bang on 180%. Confident that this engine is working as it should be and it's 100% healthy. Um, so from this point now we can start making a base map um, and we can start tuning the engine and make some more power out of it. So I'm going to show you the actual data that we've requ re recorded. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the data that we've recorded from the ECU again um, from its baseline dyno runs in stock form because uh, you can see it a little bit better on the screen. These bottom lines here, that's your bank one and bank two lambda requested in actual. Um, and you can see that they're forming one line. Um, so that basically means that it's meeting its target perfectly, which is what we want to see. And then we've got the lines above, bank one and bank two, rail pressure. So that's a high pressure fuel pump. It's meeting its requested um, pressure, so that's always good. It means we've got a proper fuel flow through the, uh, the fuel system. Um, and then this top line here, this is a boost curve. So we've got requested boost and actual boost, again, more or less the same line, um, which just shows that the actual stock ECU is working 100% perfect. Get on to making a base map, we can flash it in car, do some testing and just optimise it from there. So this is a piece of software that we use to actually modify the ECU data and TCU data. Um, you've got, well, we've got a long list of defined maps that we've actually modified. So all these maps are down this left hand side um, are all maps that are needed um, to make a stage one tune file for an RS7. A lot of people just think you turn boost up, give it a little bit more fuel and that's it done. But there's actually a lot more to it you've got one byte limiters and stuff that are hidden here, there and everywhere and it actually takes a lot of calibrating. I see a lot of tuners um, who have got some files in the interwinnels or whatever and they've got them compared um, with literally no defined maps. Um, without these maps you can't tune the ECU. You can make it look like you're tuning the ECU but unless you've got a long list of defined maps like this then you're just basically pretending. We'll flash this in the car now, do some testing and see, see how we get on. So we've finished tuning the RS7 now, we've got to the point where we can't progress anymore. So we ran the car up stock at 555 brake horsepower which is basically stock power figures. Made a, a base map, pretty conservative. It made the power peak, but I left the torque request pretty low, um, low down just to just to get the ball rolling on the tuning side of things, um, just to make sure that I was happy how the, how, with how the engine were performing. So it made 650 brake horsepower on the base map, which is good power, but you can see it hardly made, made any more torque over stock um, between like 2000 and 4500 RPM. So once I'd tested it on that base map, I started to introduce a bit more torque low down, uh, so you can see now it's got that nice 
step between the base back and where it is now in torque um, and it's making 660 brake horsepower. The ECU was pulling quite a lot of ignition time at the top end um, so we asked the customer when the last time we had his spark plugs done he couldn't remember so we're going to leave it there for now order in some spark plugs and um, get the car back on the dyno at some point um, see if we can get a little bit more power out of it maybe add some octane booster or something to it and um, see if that makes any sort of difference um, so yeah that's it for today Teddy's going to be doing a four wheel alignment on this car he's going to be doing a fast road setup make sure you like, subscribe um, and we'll see you in the next video